Well, good Sunday afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. In the effort of fairness okay we have done a lot of videos on michael irvin's case um, as it's gone through and progressed and giving you the information that's come out as it's come out and the, and we want to make sure we give all sides of this argument ultimately it doesn't matter what i think you think or whatever it's only going to matter what the courts think and what is provable in the court system um, as we've noted on this case Everything with this lawsuit had been one-sided from Michael Irving's perspective, them bringing the $100 million lawsuit in. Marriott has been rebucked pretty much every time with the court system. Um, thus far, if you were taking odds and things like that, right now you have to look at the judge, and the judge is kind of perturbed at Marriott for what they did with this tape. Um, we've had... Marriott come out with their allegations, and um, I want to bring exactly that to you guys um, to make it better, okay? I am not an attorney, and I do not play one at work uh, here or anything else. I've been doing the best that I can, but I want you to check out LegalPad uh, website, excuse me, YouTube channel. LegalPad, he knows the nuts and bolts. He is actually an attorney, and I want to give him full credit for this because he has literally gone through this filing page by page by page, and I want to play a couple of parts from it and give you at least my opinion on it because I want to make sure that we get it right. Because what we've heard from Marriott was and part of the filing, and again, you're getting kind of bits and pieces from different news organizations, so you don't know, you know, it, it can be shaded one way or the other. In the court filing, this is uh, from one article, um, Marriott claimed that Irving flagged down the employee as she walked from the bar into the lobby area. And they allegedly asked her about her work, said he found her attractive, shook her hand, and introduced herself. Um, Legal Pad actually goes into complete detail of word by word the description, and that's why I want to bring it in to you guys. And listening to this, again, there's always three sides to every argument. There's your side, my side, and somewhere in the middle lies the truth. We have learned a couple of things, and this may make sense now why um, Michael Irvin's attorneys also wanted to know whom the uh, Marriott Corporation talked to at the NFL because we find out that allegedly Marriott says that the NFL had an investigator come over and look at it and so on. Now, the NFL ended up doing a one-year investigation on the Zeke Elliott situation, another case where nobody was ever arrested, brought downtown, no charges were brought forth. And in fact, their investigator said there was no there there, but the NFL deemed it enough to suspend Zeke Elliott for six games. Be that as it may, let's go to what exactly was said. Shout out to Legal Pad. After one, the National Football League arranges for Irvin to stay at the hotel. In chapter two of this, it says Irvin becomes intoxicated and harasses the victim. Irvin arrived at the hotel on February 5th, 2023. That evening, when he returned to the hotel after dinner, he appeared to be visibly intoxicated in the hotel bar. Now, I want to point out that we saw a video from a fan who had posted it on Twitter and various other social media of Irvin actually talking to some fans in the hotel bar after he had come back. Okay, I want to stop right there for a second. Okay. Um, one of the things that you, in, in this court filing they they basically make him sound like he is fall down drag out drunk so michael irvin had the wherewithal when the guys asked him about having pictures to say no let's not do this in a bar it's not a good look let's go outside and do that he does that and comes back if you are as intoxicated as marriott says i don't know that you're able to do that but be that as it may let me go on back that night 
And at least in my opinion, he didn't appear to be intoxicated in that video. He might have used some coarse language. It was kind of hard to actually tell what he was saying, but his speech was not slurred and he certainly wasn't having trouble standing up. It goes on to state that as the victim entered the dust cutter, Irvin flagged her down and the two stepped into the hotel lobby. Irvin shook her hand, asked if she worked there and what she did there. The victim confirmed that she worked there and asked if she could help Irvin with anything. Irvin then stated that she was attractive and reached out to shake her hand, asked her name and introduced himself as Michael. Irvin then asked whether she watched football, to which the victim responded that she did not, and Irvin told her she should look him up on the internet sometime. Irvin also reached out and touched the victim's arm during the conversation without her consent, causing her to step back, becoming visibly uncomfortable. Moving on, it states that Irvin then asked the victim whether she, and then I blacked this out just because I don't want YouTube to monetize this video, but essentially they're claiming that Irvin asked her if she'd ever been with a black man. It's a little bit more crude than that, the, what was actually quoted in this. But in any case, that is the quote, misconduct that Irvin is being accused of here. Taken aback by Irvin's comments, the victim responded that his comments were in inappropriate and she did not wish to discuss it further. Irvin then attempted to grab the victim's hand again and said he was sorry if he brought up bad memories for her. The victim pulled her hand away and tried to back away from Irvin as he continued to move towards her. So what is so bizarre about this is this version of events is so distinctly different from the version of events that Irvin has told, but also that those two TMZ witnesses have told. They said that there was a totally jovial interaction between the two. There was nothing, quote, untoward that happened. There was no sign of any kind of offense given or taken during that interaction. And mm -hmm. yet here we have Marriott saying that it's visible from the video surveillance footage that this woman was taken aback and that she stepped backwards away from Irvin and looked perhaps maybe she even looked offended or repulsed. Moving on to the next page, page four, it states that during this interaction, two other hotel employees noticed that the victim had a look of concern on her face and began moving towards Irvin and the victim prompting Irvin to state that security had noticed him and extend his hand for another handshake. Seems like there's a lot of handshakes going on here. Seeing that the other hotel employees were in the area and wanting the interaction to end, the victim returned Irvin's handshake. Irvin then stated that he would come back to find her sometime that week when she was working. The victim then left the interaction to assist another employee who was waiting for her in the dust cutter with Irvin leering at her as she walked away. As the victim was walking away, another employee who had assisted Irvin earlier in the day walked over to Irvin. After Irvin finished leering at the victim and turned back to employee number one, he said aloud. Uh, so, uh, wait a minute. This, this is where, if, the, if, if this is true, then, then he should be should have been removed from NFL Network. But I find it hard to think that Michael Irvin, who has you know, been Mr. Popularity in his life and so on that he's literally, they, they literally have him drooling like he's, you know, hungry like the wolf, <sighs> you know, that he's visible. Oh, yeah, I, it, 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 this is kind of, it, well, but here's what I'll say. Let, let me say the tape with or without audio will back up one of the two. They state in there that she was taken aback and stepped back, you know, that he, you know, literally, you know, is pursuing her, that he is leering at her. So if there's security cameras, you would see him, you know, like check, checking her out or the other people. Now, again, I don't know. I haven't seen the tape. The attorney says he saw the tape and says that this is hogwash, but let me go on a little bit more, but this is, this does not match up with the tape that we saw from the other person from Michael Irvin's state there, because this interaction happened sometime around that you didn't all of a sudden sober up for this one and were drunk for the, other. I, I, I wouldn't think out she bad she bad i want to hit that and slapped himself in the face three times saying keep it together mike Employ so she bad she bad 
Keep it together, Mike. Keep it together. Are you serious? She bad. She bad. Keep it together. Let, let, let me back it up. Shout out to Attorney Nick. Let, let, let me do that part again. In the area and wanting the interaction to end, the victim returned Irvin's handshake. Urban then stated that he would come back to find her sometime that week when she was working. The victim then left the interaction to assist another employee who was waiting for her in the dust cutter with Urban leering at her as she walked away. As the victim was walking away, another employee who had assisted Urban earlier in the day walked over to Urban. After Urban finished leering at the victim and turned back to employee number one, he said aloud, she bad, she bad, I want to hit that, and slapped himself in the face three times, saying, keep it together, Mike. Employee one observed that Urban was slurring his words and acting like he was under the influence. After slapping himself, Urban pivoted and said to employee one, let's go take a picture over there, referring to another area of the hotel lobby. Employee one agreed, snapped one photo of the two of them, shook hands with Urban, and assisted him with finding the elevator. Irvin entered the elevator and, to the hotel's knowledge, went about his business the following day. Chapter 3. Okay. One way or the other, the tape should back this up. I, I, you know, you don't need to, to, to hear audio to see him slap himself three times and staring at her i mean you we've all i mean we've all seen the gym tapes okay where they literally claim that uh you know he's staring at me just because their eyes happen to go in that direction as they're walking in okay you know we can we can follow along and see if he was doing that you know she bad she bad i got to hit that keep it together mike my question Here's my question on this, okay? Um, my only question. Again, I'm not an attorney, and this actually just hit me right now. So are we saying that the other employee of Marriott heard him say this? This is pretty much direct of saying, she bad, she bad, I want to hit that. Keep it together, Mike. Uh, actually, let me back that up a little bit because who who wh where do we get this verbatim quote? Because in the filing, it is in parentheses. Is there audio? If there is, then it's damning. Let's go back. And the victim prompting Urban to state that security had noticed him and extend his hand for another handshake. Seems like there's a lot of handshakes going on here. Seeing that the other hotel employees were in the area and wanting the interaction to end, the victim returned Irvin's handshake. Irvin then stated that he would come back to find her sometime that week when she was working. The victim then left the interaction to assist another employee who was waiting for her in the dust cutter with Irvin leering at her as she walked away. As the victim was walking away, another employee who had assisted Irvin earlier in the day walked over to Irvin. After Irvin finished leering at the victim and turned back to employee number one, he said aloud, she bad, she bad, I want to hit that, and slapped himself in the face three times, saying, keep it together, Mike. Employee one observed that Irvin was slurring his words and acting like he was under the influence. After slapping himself, Irvin pivoted and said to employee one, let's go take a picture over there, referring to another area of the hotel lobby. Employee one agreed, snapped one photo of the two of them, shook hands with Irvin, and assisted him with finding the elevator. Irvin entered the elevator and, to the hotel's knowledge, went about his business the following day. Chapter three, the victim reports the harassment to... Okay, so this other employee then must be the one that basically said, well, I heard, I saw him leering at her and heard him say this. Um, the tape here, here's, here's the bottom line here. This is where it doesn't make sense for Marriott to want the tape not to be seen. If they've inferred all of this stuff and say that they have it on tape, then they should want that tape to be out there to save themselves. That's the only thing that I'll say again, 
we don't know. We're going by Marriott's word. We're going by Michael Irvin's word. And, of course, I'm sorry, two eyewitnesses for, for Michael Irvin. Now, if this is, goes to trial, which I don't think it ever will, then you have to imagine that the um, employee that snapped the pictures is going to be a witness to verify that they said he slapped himself and said she bad she bad and leered at him that would be the perfect witness for marriott um but from what we have heard this is a completely different story than anything that we have seen thus far and from the 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 evidence is put forth and we'll probably see this tape maybe we'll see it tomorrow or the next day but I can guarantee you that this tape, if it's anything like Levi said it is, will be out. And the fact that Marriott did not want this thing put out, um, you know, and, and and let me say this part of it, too, because it is a sensitive issue that, you know, that, that I hope that um, they do redact, you know, the, the victim, the alleged victim, you know, so that way she's not put in any danger one way or the other because there are some people out there that are a little unhinged that could possibly do something. But we need to get to the bottom of this because a person's career and name is definitely at stake. And that's where we are with this. And I will catch you guys later. Peace out.